This is Thoughts While Thinking, and I'm just plain Bill, and these opinions are mine, and we're talking about the solar system and the flares that are getting ready to happen. I think it's important enough to check out, see what you think. Huge loops of magnetic energy arc out over the sunspots. Twisted and unstable, desperate to spew their energy, they create a magnetic bomb primed to explode. And so if one magnetic field with stored energy sees another magnetic field, those two look at each other and say, hey, if we connect, we can get rid of a lot of energy. They do so, they reconnect. Wow. It's a huge explosion, and we call it a solar flare. And this can be equivalent to millions of nuclear weapons exploding simultaneously. Solar flares erupt outwards into space at up to four and a half million miles an hour, releasing massive amounts of energy. And we may have a big issue with the radio and TV broadcast and the other communications with this flare up. So we want to be aware of what's going on and not be surprised. Again. In 2003 and 2004, solar flares disabled several satellites orbiting Earth and affected airplane navigation systems. Now the sun is returning to a period of intense activity. So the sun goes through typically an 11-year cycle uh, of low activity and high activity. Uh, currently we're coming out of a period of very low activity that ended about a year or so ago. And so we're heading up towards the solar maximum period. Charged particles on the sun's surface build up energy, generating huge magnetic loops. When the loops break, these particles are released, creating a solar flare that can reach the Earth. But predicting when they will occur isn't easy. So currently the, the prediction schemes are basically a warning system maybe an hour or so uh, to a couple days in advance that a solar flare has occurred that might actually have some effect here on the Earth. Solar flares can travel up to 4 million miles per hour, carrying energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs. No wonder when solar storms hit Earth's atmosphere, they can cause major problems. These effects can range from problems on satellites. We can also see problems in our electric grid here on the Earth's surface. And in addition to that, we can have outages on radio communication and navigation systems. Scientists develop a space weather forecast by studying the surface of the sun, looking for dark splotches of magnetic energy called sunspots. More sunspots mean more solar flares. Scientists rely on satellites to spot them. There are only a few satellites that are actually currently looking at the sun and able to warn us when one of these solar flares is occurring. The distant sun can sometimes make big impacts here on Earth. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Well, that's thoughts while thinking in the solar system. And appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. And it's adios, amigos, and we'll see you.